Hi guys, welcome back to the garage. Hi, welcome back to the garage, guys. Ah, it is Sunday, 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 and you know what? It's a gorgeous day here. Gorgeous day. Um, we got a nice light breeze coming in. Um, yeah, so anyways, I am here this afternoon because I'm going to respond to Brian Cormack Carr, our friend BCC, his hashtag AMPM Pagan Practices. So, here we go. Um, I'm an old witch. I mean an old witch. <laughs> so, I've been doing this for quite some time. And for me, I don't have any real specific practice. However, I witch every day, all day. So, if that counts as a practice, that's what I do. And I'm going to tell you how. So, first of all, I'm not a morning person, so forget about doing a whole lot in the morning. I'm grateful that my god and goddess are um, bending on that one. <laughs> so, first thing in the morning, though, I do get up and I greet both my god and goddess. Currently, I'm working with Kernunos and Kuan Yin, and so I greet them in the morning. Then I toddle off for coffee, because I don't wake up without coffee in the morning. So I surround myself with magic all day long. Um, some examples are in my vehicle, I have a couple little um, plastic antler horns. They came out as Christmas ornaments this year. Couldn't believe it. This year, well, not this year, last year. Last year seemed to be the Christmas of the stag because there were antlers and deer everywhere. So uh, I was riding high on Cernunos. And so I got these little antlers that I have in my rear view mirror because he comes with me every day to and from work. At work, I have another set of antlers which are tacked up to my cubicle and I have a Kuan Yin pendant that is tacked to my cubicle. Nobody's any the wiser, but I'm an out witch at work so it doesn't matter anyways. Um, so I have my God and Goddess with me all day long. Um, the morning drive. Morning drive is slow. Um, we have a lot of traffic. Uh, we're a big city, so it takes a little while to get into work, and I take the time to kind of appreciate that. I often get to go from um, the dark to the sunrise, and I get to watch the moon depart and the sun arrive, and I'm grateful to see that laundry's done <laughs> I'm grateful to see that every morning I mean how cool is it I'm also very grateful that I work near the Pacific Ocean so I get to see that on a daily basis I just enjoy and appreciate and love everything that Mother Earth is offering me right now every day every day I get a sunrise and I get a sunset um, when I come, when I'm coming home from work, the sun is usually going down. <coughs> Excuse me. So I enjoy the sunsets and the sunrises and just the the beauty of of the sky. I also take note of the beauty around me as well. We are concrete jungle, but we still have trees. We have birds, even down to the lowly pigeons and seagulls. I um love I just love them um, so this is how I witch during the day I think about those things uh, in addition in the morning I should say um, all of my jewelry is actually enchanted it's all magical jewelry if you see me wearing something it's magical it has an intended purpose that's also how I carry my magic with me uh, this necklace uh, by the way was originally it was a bracelet but I seem to have problems with bracelets because I have my hands on a desktop and it just interferes so usually I wear necklaces but this is um, I got this this year because uh, this is my word or words of the year can you read that it says attain 
there goes the dryer. <laughs> it says attain magic. So th those are my words for the year, attain magic. I got that through Benabel and, and the planner and, and whatnot. So I'm attaining magic this year. And I'm mindful of those things all the time. I'm, I'm mindful of being magic. I'm mindful of being part of Mother Nature. I'm mindful of, you know, the the breezes and the chill in the air or the warmer weather of the, of the sun. And those are the things that are my daily practices, a.m., p.m. Now, there is one practice that I do have on a weekly basis, and it's... Uh, a Sunday ritual I call it Sunday ritual and because it usually takes place on Sunday which is a, a ritual shower I usually have incense I have a candle I have lovely background like meditation music I shower in the dark and it's one of those to wash away all the strains and the struggles and the responsibilities and the what ifs and the, you know, negative thoughts. Everything gets washed off and down the drain. And you are bright, spanking new all over again to head into the new week with an absolute clean slate. So that's the only real ritual that. I do. On occasion, as you've seen previously, I did that financial manifestation spell. I'll do some things like that. But as far as daily practice, I just live it. I live it every single day. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope maybe some of you can figure out some of the ways to incorporate your witch uh, throughout your whole entire day. And uh, Thanks, Brian. This was another great tag. All right. Much love. We'll see you guys next time.